Hello everybody, this is Doll Dazzler and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be decorating another Lakeland Rock that I'm going to be hiding. In my first video for the Lakeland Rocks, I did a heart and I also did kind of like a beach scene with a flamingo. And um, I just kind of ran into this uh, friend of mine, uh, showed me um, some postings of these beautiful rocks that people were painting and they hide them and people find them and then they post them on uh, Facebook. So um, today I'm going to be um, showing you something I've been kind of playing around with. Um, is uh, This is the start of the rock that I'm going to be painting. And what I wanted to do that I thought would be kind of cool is to do some three-dimensional art. But I didn't know quite what to use at first because um, it's got to be something that can get wet outside um, just in case it's not found for a while and also something that is um, um, durable enough if it uh, gets bumped around. So what I thought I would try is I went to Hobby Lobby and I bought some of these candy molds and this is a, um, this is a rose candy mold. So I had pre-made um, this little rose on top that I put on this rock um, in this candy mold. And I'm just going to show you. I used this pre-mix, ready-mixed concrete patch. And it is a little bit heavy, but um, it actually worked pretty good. The, um, the candy mold, um, it's a little bit deep. So I'm thinking um, next time I use this particular mold, I might use something um, a little bit thinner. But I'm, I'm going to go ahead and make another one just so I can show you how I did this. So I just scoop it into this mold just like it was like some candy. And I just stick it in the mold. And I, I push down pretty hard so that it can get to the bottom of this candy mold. And I actually got this on sale. I think normally these are, these are kind of, um, well, not real, real expensive, but I did get it on sale. So that helped with the cost of this. I like to find um, really um, like cheap crafting ideas because it makes it a lot more fun when you're not spending a whole lot of money. So I pushed all of the concrete way down deep and I am now getting um, getting it nice and smooth across the top so that whatever surface I decide to put it on, uh, it will be nice and flat. So now this, it did take a couple of days. Like I said, it was kind of deep. Uh, the candy mold's kind of deep, so it took a couple of days. So I thought that I would pre-make one just so that I could show you guys. Um, how I did this. So this I'm going to put to the side. It's going to take a couple of days to dry in there. And then um, I might do another Lakeland Rock with that one. I'm not sure yet. So um, I did get a couple of um, different flower molds as well. And I did put a small layer of concrete in there that I might be sharing with you guys in a different video. Concrete is also, it, you can paint it. So that's what I'm going to do now. So. After this dried in the mold, I, I pulled it out and I had um, painted um, this rock on the top half, I painted it black. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the, um, the rose itself and then paint some um, leafing around the outside of this and maybe add some rhinestones or something to it. And then when it's complete, then on the back I'm going to... I'm going to write, um, of course, my YouTube name, Doll Dazzler, and then um, also to place um, or post it on Facebook, letting everybody know um, uh, on the Lakeland Rocks that you've um, located this rock. So I'm going to just, because I'm going to seal it really well, I'm going to use what I always use, apple barrel paint, so that's white. This is Anita's. And this one is called Coral. This one is Anita's again, and it's Sunshine Yellow. And then I have this one, which is Anita's again, and this one is Shamrock. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's kind of blurry. Sorry about that. And then I'm going to add some glitters as well. I've got the Deco Art, and this is the Crystal Glitter. 
So it's just when it dries, it dries clear with a with like an iridescent glitter in it. And then these are some of my favorites. This is um, the Glamour Dust by Decor, Decor Art, and it's the Emerald. So these all do um, they do dry clear with the green glitter in it, but um, when you uh, first put it on, it starts to dry a little bit cloudy. But um, after it's done drying, um, it really it's it's kind of like that bottle. See how glittery that bottle is. So anyway, so now I'm going to start painting. And what I need to do, because I made the ba base of this black, I wanted it to stand out really, really well, and that's why I did that. So I'm going to take a little bit of the white, and I'm going to color in the leaves first. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because it has to dry um, in order for me to go back over the leaves in green. So I'm not going to pour onto a plate out of this one because I'm not using, actually not using this much paint for the white. I am going to pour out the other ones though. So I'm just going to, oops, sorry about that. I'm just going to paint some leaves, little leaf leaves on here. And when I go back to do the green, of course, they're, they'll be a lot. They'll be a lot better. And I'm not going to make it like solid white. It doesn't need two coats or anything. And I'm going to make this like a really simple design too, so that it doesn't take a lot of time. Put a little bit of an end on this leaf there. I'm gonna make another one right here coming off of it. Like that. And then I'll come up here and I'll make one coming off of this area here. And I normally, um, I normally would use a different brush stroke for this, but since I'm not painting on um, paper, and this is just a base, a base coat, um, I'm, I'm just basically just painting out the, um, the, the leaf without using uh, any of the special brush strokes that I've shown you in a previous video that I've made. And then I think I'm going to have maybe another little one here. And then, I don't know, you guys can even see that. Um, and then maybe I'll just do some, like, some sprigs coming off around the rows here. Like that. And then a couple over here. that and then just a couple more and then that'll be ready to start drying and those should be dry by the time I'm done painting this rose I'm not gonna take a long time to paint this rose um, just merely gonna blend the colors together but it doesn't take any time for this paint to dry because I'm only doing one coat and then I might add just a few little dots here and there you guys can see and then maybe around this leaf here just like that just to give it some other character and then over here on this side and then I'll be done with that now I might leave those dots white I don't know we'll have to see what it looks like when I'm done completely so that's the white okay to be careful I don't put my finger in that paint and I'm going to clean that brush off just real quick because I do need to probably use that again while I'm doing the green. 
Okay, so now I am going to I'm going to have a yellow rose with some um, with some of the pink added in or the coral. So I'm going to get my plate and I'm going to mix a couple of different kinds of colors on here. So I'm going to make these um, these pores just kind of small. So probably no more than that. Maybe just a tiny bit more. And I shouldn't need any more for the entire flower because it's not it's not that big. All right. So move that over. See if I can hold this rock in my hand without messing up that white. And so that you guys can see what I'm doing. All right. So I'm going to start in the middle and usually the middle is a dark color, but I'm going to probably mix a little of these colors together too. Just to get, um, trying to move the paint so you guys can see what I'm doing. Uh, get a little bit darker color for that center. So then I'm going to come into the middle. Just kind of go around. Like that. And it's basically going to be yellow and I'm going to tip it. Do the, the, um, the outer tips of the rose I'm going to do in that pink. So now I'm going to go with the yellow all the way around because that middle got a little bit darker. And I'm just going to start painting this all the way around. Don't have to be very careful. Because it's, I mean, I didn't uh, sand this or anything. So it's going to look kind of more realistic because of that, I think. I had um, in the first uh, set of rocks that I did, I had wanted it to be three dimensional um, with concrete um, going through um, a cake decorating bag. And it worked out okay. I think that um, it might be a little bit grainy and heavy for those bags, but um, overall it turned out pretty good. And I need to make sure that I need to get my edges here. I'm being very generous with the paint because I think that the concrete is going to definitely suck up a lot of that paint. It's very, very rough. And um, when I put the rock on, or the uh, flower onto the rock, I used, um, initially I used a little bit of the E6000 glue because it glues all kinds of surfaces. And then I packed a little bit of the concrete in there as well, just so that it would kind of protect that glue. So that if it ends up being outside for a little while, it should stay intact. Plus I'm going to also, um, seal the rock really good and um, it just so happens that my my first rocks um, I haven't seen the second one on uh, being posted yet on uh, Facebook but I do know that the heart one was found and they did post it and that was really exciting to uh, to see that somebody had found it so it didn't have to be outside very long which was good but I do want to make them durable enough if they, um, for some reason, don't get found right away. I'm not, I didn't hide the first two all that hard. Um, basically because I don't really know. I've never hidden them before. I've never hidden a rock before. So, so you can kind of get an idea how that is. Um, it's going to probably need um, to dry a little bit. I need to probably do a second coat. But I'm going to be really generous with the paint on the inside here because it definitely, definitely is really rough. So I'm gonna add some more paint on the inside there. And I 
I kind of took out my dark center so I'll have to re-add that back in but I needed to do definitely needed to do and sometimes you don't need to actually add a second coat you just go over it again but this needs to be a little thick it's gonna take it a little while to dry so I'll probably have to do two um, I'll have to come back I'll have to stop the video and come back after it's dry because it's gonna take it probably a day to dry but I will at least get the um, leafing done <coughs> excuse me all right so I probably, I'll probably have to come back because <coughs> that yellow paint is, it's a little bit thick and I want it to turn out really good, but you can kind of see it a little bit. All right, so I'm going to switch brushes now <coughs> and I am going to use um, the Shamrock Green. I'm just going to pour a little bit of that out. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll have to come back with the glitter as well because all of this has to dry um, before I can add any of the glitter. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a little bit of the white out as well. I'm going to blend. Whoops, I poured a little bit too much. Um, I want to make a, kind of some different colors here. Um, I want to make a lighter green. So that I can have some accent. So I want to run some of that yellow in there because it'll make it kind of a lime green. I do have lime green in the Anita's as well, but this will at least be the um, same family of green. So complement the green that I'm using. And I'm going to do this light green first. And I'm going to actually, I'm going to see if I can use this tip of brush. It might be a little bit big, so I'll have to see. So I'm going to start with, yep, it looks like it's dry. Let's put this over here. So I'm going to do this, um, like I said, I'm going to do the light one first. And then I'll come back and do the dark one. When you put the white down first, it makes it stand out so much better. And then, of course, if I mess up, I can always go back over the top of the black if I need to. So this one, I'm just going to do the outer edge of it. And I'll just do the, um, the rest of it, the dark green. And then I'll do these little sprigs. Some of the little sprigs I'll do. Just a little bit of that green. And let's turn the rock around. This is actually really cool. A little cool rock. I thought the idea of hiding rocks was cool too. Alright, let's add a little bit of that. And then this one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm only going to do one portion of the leaf and the rest of it's going to be dark. Okay, and then this last set of little sprigs and I'm to mix just a little bit more. And then it looks like I must have touched this one on the edge there. But it doesn't matter because I'm covering that up now. Okay, so, and I'm thinking that I might leave the dots white. The white is actually a little bit of a nice touch. So I think that that's I'm probably going to leave it just like that. All right, so I'm gonna come back in with the dark green now. Uh, let me set this down and clean my brush here. Get the excess of the lime green off. And I'm gonna start with that first, first one again. And I'm gonna use the, all the green, the dark green, without mixing it.
and kind of blend it in together a little bit so it's a little bit got a little bit darker I might even go back in with a little bit um, a little bit more of a darker one I don't know if I got a darker one but this will definitely need to dry first so we'll see I might do that I might go back in with another dark one but that's the start of it for now and then we'll move on around again and so this one over here is this side this time and I got to do the little so the rest of the sprigs have to be painted at this point okay and on around trying not to touch that that green that I just put down <laughs> try to do the video at the same time is a little bit difficult all right so this is the last leaf and then here's the oops sorry about that I wasn't even in the camera the sprigs and then I have some sprigs on the bottom and then I've got to let it dry so I'll be coming back after I let it dry just like that yeah I think I'm gonna come in with a little bit darker um, green just to there's some lines that I can put in with that green so for right now I'm going to test it but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna to have to let that dry so then um after it's dry I found these um, these rhinestones that I was thinking I was gonna put on let's see I'll put it down here so you guys can kind of see them so the lime green and kind of an orange color that's gonna match that coral really really nice and I thought that I would just put them sporadically or just, you know, here and there on the rock too, just to give it a little bit, um, a little bit of bling on there. All right, guys. So I will be back and then I will finish uh, painting the rose. Hi, everybody. I'm back and I, I decided to go ahead and just finish off that flower. Um, in the first part of the video, I realized when I was looking at some of the videotape that you guys were unable to see a lot of what I was painting, and I apologize for that. But um, I'll just explain to you what I did right fast. So I had painted the entire uh, flower yellow, and I put that that dark base in there um, in the middle. But what had happened is is that uh, after I'd let the yellow dry. It still was very very transparent you could still see some of the concrete so I went ahead and I started mixing in a little bit more of the darker and you can see now that the um, middle part of the flower is now that coral color so I've got that completed and it's uh, the concrete is now pretty much covered which is a good thing it was it was having a hard time um, except in the paint so and then I went through and I um, finished off the leaves and I did add these rhinestones and when I added the rhinestones it um, it gave them kind of like a cracked effect which isn't bad it looks kind of cool but um, I think that's from the glue that I tried to um, use I used the E4000 and I think that it kind of crinkled the silver underneath it it kind of gives it a cool effect though so I'm not gonna try to pry them off at this point um, everything is really sealed on all the all the leaves are done so what I'm going to do to complete this video is I am going to um, add the glitter and so I'm going to use the deco art and the um, oh they're both from deco art uh, so one is the glamour dust emerald and one is the just the crystal twinkles so I'm going to start with the crystal twinkles and I'm going to put it on the flower part and after I'm done I'm just going to stick it in a little bit in the lid because I'm not even using enough to, um, at this point, to put it onto a plate. So 
Um, I'm just going to put it on the flower, this, the silver sprinkles. So I'm just going to cover it off in there. And then after I'm done, what I'm going to do is I am going to seal it and I will show you um, some pictures of it after it's completed because it does look different after um, after it's done. I need to shake up those twinkles here just a second. Yeah, the clear coat um, will help lift up everything. And so um, I do want to give you guys a, an idea of what it's going to look like when it's complete. Okay. I think that's a little bit, a little bit better. Most of the, the glitter on this is at the bottom, unfortunately. I needed to stir it a little bit more. Or shake it anyway. All right. I'm hoping that I get enough glitter on this. There's not a whole lot of glitter in here, but there's some. There'll be enough, I think. All right. And then the rest is just going to be that clear coat that helps. I'm trying to stay in the camera so that you guys can see. You can kind of see a little bit of the, the glitter sparkles in there. And... And I'm going to move right into that green, that green emerald. Yeah, I think that there's enough sparkles on there. And I'm going to see if I can shake this one up just for a minute. Get some of that glitter near the top. Now this one is going to look like it's um, going to be covering a lot of that uh, I'm going to try to be really really careful though and I'm just going to add just a little bit and my idea is not to make a lot of glitter just a little bit it'll kind of blend in the greens too okay. keep it away from that white dot Decided to keep the dots white. And that should really be, wait, I think there's one more. I'm gonna be careful where I touch it. Nope, I got that one. So, you can see the glitter on there. And that's gonna dry clear, so. Uh, except for where the glitter is, so. Now it's all glittered out, and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to seal it, and I'm going to seal it with this Mod Podge. When I come back, I'll show you what I sealed it with, because uh, I didn't bring the bottle in with me. It's a spray Mod Podge gloss, so that it's shiny. And then after that's dry, then on the bottom, I'm going to write um, uh, to paste it on Facebook. All right. So my last segment of this video will be just showing you how it turned out with the, um, with the clear coat. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so now it's done and the clear coat is dry. And um, so you can kind of see the glitter. I actually had to add a little bit more of a different kind of glitter because the painting glitter, um, it, it didn't have enough glitter in it. So what I ended up using was um, this glitter here, the all over glitter dust. And this is actually um, a glitter for um, when you paint your face, it comes in the two pack um, for Halloween. So uh, I got that a couple years ago. And um, so I, I do crafting with it because it's very fine, but you can use any glitter from um, Hobby Lobby, any crafting store um, that has a real fine glitter, and then you'll get that, um, that look right there.
so you don't actually see the big clumps of glitter it's very fine and then so to seal it um, I used this let me move this rock out of the way um, Mod Podge the gloss uh, clear acrylic sealer and it's a spray so it's all sealed and ready to be hidden I got my little note on the back to post it onto Facebook once found and there we go so if you guys like this rock please like and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video